Hi guys, I got great news for you guys. We know that Iris Scanner will be on the Galaxy Note 7. What I've got here is a Galaxy S6 that has a ported ROM from an actual Galaxy Note 7. So all the Note 7 features are in this phone right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. What's gonna be on the Note 7? Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, what you're seeing here is Unreal Galaxy Note 7 ROM installed on my Galaxy S6. Now, developers were able to get a hold of the firmware and port it to the S6. Now, it's two more days until the actual announcement, but we can actually go look at all the new features. Now, the first thing I will show you, obviously, is the model number. Uh, the model number will be an SMN930F. That's what's based off. Also, software info. Unfortunately, we will not have Android Nougat. Uh, as you can see, it's running Android 6.0.1. This is a Noble Note 7 port ROM. I'll have a link to it if you guys are interested. If you have an S6, you can install it. There's also Note 5 a version, um, Note 7 port called Crisscross ROM. Now, I wasn't able to install it because it's not compatible with T-Mobile Note 5. Um, but if you have international variants, you can go ahead and install that also. All right, so this is the settings. You can see um, Samsung has really changed everything around. Um, let me go ahead and show you the coolest feature, of course. The coolest feature, of course, is security. All right, irises. So Note 7 does have an iris scanner, uh, as proven here. And now if I try to use this, will this be compatible with older uh, Samsung phones? It won't work. You'll see that iris recognition. I believe there is another sensor or like a camera that actually uses it. So if I try to use it uh, with mine here, it actually won't work because there's no actual iris uh, sensor. So Note 7 will definitely have iris sensor. You'll see unable to use iris uh, recognition, which is awesome. It could be a gimmick. I don't know, but we will see how it goes. But iris scanner definitely is going to be on the Note 7. All right, you still have fingerprint sensor. So the Note 7 will have both fingerprint and iris. Uh, as far as some of the new features, um, Samsung has really uh, recustomized, redesigned the settings here. There's even a bike mode, sport bike mode. So when you're on a sports bike, it will only give you the most important notifications that you set. All right, you can go ahead and turn this off uh, by holding down on it. There's also UHQ upscaler. I believe that's headphones. So the Note 7 may come with a very good DAC. I'm not sure, but um, based on this menu button, that's what it seems like. All right, I got it on. You can see UHQ Scaler. If you go into uh, more settings, you got an advanced equalizer. That's kind of cool. You can put more bass, uh, instrument, vocal, right? Uh, surround sound, uh, two van pro, concert hall, uh, some of the effects. Now there's an advanced where you can go ahead and tweak your own uh, equalizer. I actually really like this and usually I install Viper for Android to do stuff like this but now I'll be able to just use a uh, Samsung stuff. But let me go ahead and show you the S Pen features. Um, so the new S Pen will have a note just like that and this is the new note app. Now I don't have an S Pen but it still works. Um, you got uh, different brushes, right? All right, different brushes. And also you got, uh, you can put images now. Um, you can also put voice, right? You can also write stuff. Whoops, I've got it uh, recording here. So you can actually make a note and add uh, your voice, right? And you can do more pen stuff here. So that's kind of cool. Um, we'll definitely have to get uh, the Note 7 um, Try that out. Now there's this new uh, Smart Select also that allows you to select using a rectangle. I haven't actually been able to get this work. I think it's not working unless you have an S Pen. But there's a, a thing for. Oh, there we go. You can you can record uh, GIFs and basically. So whatever I do here, you can record little GIFs here. Maybe you're watching YouTube and you can do that. So that's kind of cool. Screen right, of course. Uh, we got screen right here. Now there is also edge screen since Note 7 will have a curved screen. So this is the same thing you saw with S7 Edge. Um, now this is not added to the custom ROM. This actually is uh, from a Note 7. So Note 7 will have full edge panels, uh, all that good stuff. So it's going to be a sort of a hybrid phone this year, which 
I guess is okay. I think that's a good idea, having one phone instead of having two different phones that are pretty much the same. One's a little curved and the other's not. And you got the new icons here. Uh, this is all part of Galaxy Note 7. You got uh, game launcher and game tools, just like the S7 Edge. Here are all the advanced options here. Smart capture, um, palm swipe, SMS. There's a video enhancer. Okay, not sure what that does. Device maintenance. Um, sort of checking device um, can optimize your device. That's kind of cool. You can actually block, allow, prioritize uh, your notifications. That's sort of new. Uh, the camera, yes, the camera is. This is actually a Note 7 camera that will be on there. I checked that out earlier, but and it doesn't actually change much from before. Um, you got video size of 4K, 1080p, 60 frames per second. All right, the modes are pretty much identical to S7 Edge. Nothing really new here, so that's a little bit disappointing, but um, basically you're going to have all the features you saw with S7 Edge. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this real quick. Note 7 will have an IR scanner. We just verify with the sported ROM. Now there's ported ROM for the S6, S5, and also the Note 5. I'll have all the links in the description below. If you guys have a phone that supported, it, you can get the Note 7 software features right now, just like I did on my S6. Anyway, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.